I am Kathy Smith Bowers, and I am Poet Laureate of the State of North Carolina. I was born in Lancaster, South Carolina, a small mill town about um, 45 minutes south of Charlotte. My father worked in the cotton mill, and my mother uh, stayed home and took care of me and my five brothers and sisters. Besides just enjoying language itself and experiencing what, what words can do, um, I would like for people to know that you do not have to be a prophet to write poems, and you do not have to have several degrees in literature to write poems. You do not have to be, um, even though it would be nice if you could uh, enroll in a, a Master's of Fine Arts in Creative Writing, you don't have to. You can write poems, and you can enrich your life by writing poems, by reading poems, and also by writing poems. People really love to write poems. They love for the poems they've written to come out of their mouths, and they love for someone else to hear those poems come out of their mouths. And that in itself is, is a tremendous experience. It is a microscopic moment that um, as the amazing poet and teacher Richard Hugo said, might not mean anything to the rest of the world, but it's huge for that student's life. And uh, it's, it's sacred stuff, and uh, you know, we, have to, uh, we have to keep that in mind. When I first knew that I wanted to write poems, which was way back when I was a child, uh, I thought that what I was going to be doing was um, coming up with a profound idea that only I knew, an idea that had been bestowed upon me and me alone. Uh, and then I was going to articulate that profound idea by using the biggest words I could find, um, words with lots of syllables, hopefully that people would not understand. Uh, and I would really skew my syntax, uh, you know, because the poems in my, my uh, high school books that the teachers had said were great poems were totally confusing. So I wanted to be a great poet, so then my job would be to confuse people. And then I, I realized uh, not too far, you know, uh, after that thought that I didn't have any profound ideas. And so I had to take another strategy. So um, I decided that what I would do would be to simply, rather than begin with an idea, I would begin with an abiding image, an image that hooked me so, sometime, you know, that, that had been, that had hooked me weeks, months, years, even decades ago, and would not let go and that I would sit down with that abiding image and write into the mystery of that abiding image. I would shine a light on that moment of intensity. And at that point, that was something I could do. I could do. I, I would shine a light on a moment of intensity. I feel so honored to have been chosen for this position because I am aware of the the marvelous poets out there. I'm, and I'm just really uh, hugely honored to represent them um, and to be an ambassador, I think, for, for poetry throughout the state.